All right, I just wanted to show you a new project that I've started working on, and it's a solar power generator. Um, this is what it looks like. It's basically, remember that uh, first golf cart battery that I bought that I had trouble with the app and the Bluetooth working on? Well, finally the company got that straightened out, and this is just a, um, a simple box with some battery and battery monitor and solar controller to... Um, you know make some power and run some items in the house i'm just playing with now as you know these you know playing with this stuff is dangerous and the lithium ion, ion batteries can also be a problem um so you have to be really careful when when playing with this stuff but i just wanted to show you the start of this and use just a little project to prove um my next step so basically it's you know wooden box some components on it mounted on a hand cart that I picked up on clearance and I'm running a true sine wave inverter and there you can see getting a real nice sine wave out of it actually I've got that little scope on x10 so it's actually after instead of 12.2 volts it's 122 but anyhow I'm getting a you know pretty nice wave out of it and it is a low cost inverter and um, I've been playing with it using some lights and a couple heaters and some other heat guns and stuff for load just to try it out and see if it looks like I will be able to uh, maintain a freezer with it and as you can see I've got the lights in my pole barn all running off it I've had it for over a week now been playing with it and uh, I've got 15 bulbs in there and this is that system that I originally built for it that I've been using up till now and I can only get a couple hours of uh, light out of it a day but that was enough for me but with this I can run it 24 7 it seems like and not have a problem so I think it's going to be okay for running a freezer I'm just trying to get some data and you can say I got a lot of water on the floor now we've had some really nasty tornado warnings and storms the last couple of days and one just went through the water came under the door there but basically you can see i built a wooden box um, i got a cart off of northern tool on clearance for like 29 dollars and then i 3d printed a couple brackets just to mount everything together and hold it together so it could be rolled around there's some plugs on there to plug in solar panels and let's show you what I've got now. Right now I've got two 440 watt panels sitting on a trailer trying to figure out the correct angle and you know which way you've got to be turned and stuff to um, get some data off of them. And they're just they're pretty good sized panels but these will be used in the bigger project so I'm starting with them. And these are a bifacial panel, so it means they generate power on both sides of the panel. And the next step will be, I have this trailer here, this old trailer that I no longer use. That's going to be my um, solar power generator. The front will have a room built on it with all the controls and batteries. And the back will have a generator and the solar panels. So you don't want to put these things in your house so um, I figured out the best thing to do and there's the rest of the panels for the project you can see I bought them all now because there's a big tariff coming in pretty soon and the price is going to go up by at least 50 percent they say you can see I moved around some of my slabs and stuff to organize them too but this um, you know and like I said I'm just kind of using this right now to gather data and you can see I've got two 440 watt panels and when it's overcast and cold and um, you know no sun and in the morning and stuff you're not going to get the full wattage out of these panels and I got to control that 300 watt inverter they're drawing 450 watts and I'm only getting 326 27 from the panels now because it's early and like I said it's going to storm again and you can see I am drawing a little bit from the panels at this point in time but when they're in full sun they do do well but we don't get that often here so I've got the battery monitor there with a shunt that kind of tells me what's going on. Um, I've been watching it with a scope as I put different loads on it to make sure the uh, 
pure sine wave looks pretty good and this uh, solar controller actually allows me to monitor and track what I'm getting on like cloudy days sunny days and you know the amount of wattage and I've gotten up to a thousand watts on a sunny day you know in full sun at noon out of the two panels so you know it is it is working and um, we don't get we don't really get enough sun to you know those use a full wattage rating of the panel so you have to derate it quite a bit and I got a little fuse in there on the main power um, that's kind of the main system fuse and I may not have all the grounds and everything done yet right um, just playing at this point in time but next video I'll you know have an update a little bit more once I've got this thing running and I see everything does last on it and kind of my freezer I've got a kilowatt meter on it and that needs one kilowatt a day of power and looks like uh, my I'm getting over one every day even on really cloudy days so this should keep the freezer running forever but we'll find out over time now looking at the bottom of the solar panels you can see there's no dark coating on them they're bifacial so they do pick up sun from both sides so once this is properly installed over the galvanized roof on the trailer I think we'll get a lot of you know bifacial gain and there's a shunt that I'm using right now to, to monitor everything so this is just you know just a crude starting point for me and I just thought I'd show you you know what I'm what I'm working on now and I will have a better video and stuff once I verify everything works and um, exactly how I'm gonna go about going on to the next step and I've got some data about you know running the freezer and seeing what happens with that so I just wanted to give you a quick update and let you show show you where I'm you know going to be headed this fall if everything goes right. So you can see there's pretty much just a battery monitor required to you know let you know what's going on, a power inverter to make the AC power and uh, convert the battery DC to AC, and a charger charge charge controller to control the power that's coming from the solar panel and you know either send it to the uh, battery or to the load thanks for watching please subscribe i thought i'd do an update here last in the last week we've been in a tornado warning twice and we're getting some pretty nasty storms so um you know that's why my data i'm getting right now really may not be the best so I'm hoping to, you know, get some more sunny days eventually, but it's a good cross-section of what's to come, I think.